Hello, this is Daniel Plays. My name's Daniel, and welcome to yet another Minecraft video. Today, we are going to be taking a look at another Minecraft mod called Tropicraft. Welcome ladies and gentlemen to yet another Minecraft mod review. As I mentioned, we are going to be taking a look at a fantastic mod called Tropicraft. This adds an entirely new dimension to Minecraft. Just like the nether in the end, this adds the tropics. Now this mod was developed by a couple of people, amongst which is Kojo Max 99 um, and Corrosis and um, Roopfish or something like that. There's a team that I'm just going to call the Tropicraft team they're um, awesome people. They've been developing this mod for about seven years now. This mod has been around for as long as Minecraft has been around. Can you imagine? So this mod is um, pretty well optimized. You can expect that from seven years of development. And today we are going to be taking a look at what exactly this adds to Minecraft. So we are still in the overworld and in order to be able to get to the new dimension called the tropics, we need to get three ingredients. So first of all, you want to look for something like this. This is bamboo. Now you're going to want at least seven bamboo shoot, which shouldn't be too hard if you find bamboo because they're usually grouped in, um, well, you know, multiple stacks of bamboo. So as you can see, I have um, about half a stack of bamboo already, so that is more than enough. Let's just put that in here, shall we? So the next thing you're going to want to look for are pineapples. They look like this, and they exist out of two parts, but I suggest you just take off the top one, which is the pineapple itself, because if you hit the stem, the pineapple will not grow back, but if you just take off the pineapple, it will grow back, so that is way more efficient. So let's just take some more just in case we mess it up once or twice. I'm going to throw these in here and now we are going to look for the last ingredient which is usually um, very easy to find. So the last thing you're going to want to look for are palm trees. They're usually very very easy to find because they're so tall. You can see them from a really far distance and also they spawn pretty much on every, every uh, beach kind of biome near water, coastal areas, that's where you gotta look for palm trees. Now, it's important that we use a sword when harvesting the coconuts, because if we don't, um, we're gonna get the entire coconut and that is not what we want. So look at that, we got about 10 coconut chunks. Let's take this back to my crafting platform and craft everything we need to get to the tropics. So I've got all of my ingredients in here. I've got to admit that I just, eight two of these coconut chunks just to fill up my hunger bar i'm so sorry i shouldn't have done that but um here we go let's just take the three ingredients that we are going to need for now we're going to need one more thing but that's very easy to craft and you're only going to need some colored wool but i'll explain that in a second first of all we're going to want something to hold our actual drink i mean we're not going to be barbarians and just drink it out of out of some some lake or out of our hands, out of our bare hands. We're not going to do that. We're going to craft a proper mug, which as you have seen, is done by crafting a U shape with bamboo shoots. So I have two mugs now. Next up, you're going to want to craft yourself some bamboo sticks, at least eight, because we're going to need them later. And now we can get to crafting the important drink. So what you want to do is grab your bamboo mug, put a pineapple on top of that and a coconut chunk on top of that. And here we go, we got a pina colada. Now I'm just gonna craft another one because we need to drink that this drink at a very specific moment. And if we miss that moment, then we still have a backup um, drink so we can try again. So now I'm gonna grab uh, the colored wool. I picked yellow, but you can pick every single color except for non-colored wool, as far as I know. I don't think there is a white beach chair. Look at that. Now this is a small bug, um, the yellow chair does not have a color, but I just wanted to go with yellow because it's kind of my channel color, along with orange and blue and purple, I guess. I mean, my channel is very colorful. So what we're gonna do is wait for the sun to set and drink our pina colada whilst sitting in this beach chair. And that's all we gotta do. And if we do so, we should be able to drift into the tropics. 
So the sun is setting, I think it's about time we drink our pina colada. Let's go and see if we can make it to the tropics. There we go, we made it into the loading screen. Let's see what's waiting for us at the other side. So if you've also made it to a portal that looks at least similar to this one, then it means you are successfully teleported to the tropical dimension. Let's take a look at what we can find here. So before you start exploring, which I can imagine you're gonna wanna do straight away, just take a quick look in this chest. It's got an Encyclopedia Tropica, which is pretty much the wiki pages in a book. Encyclopedia Tropica by Nigel Winthorpe. I don't know who that is, that's probably a fictional character, that doesn't really matter. So this is pretty much a Wikipedia of everything that you have ever found. So you can see that we already har harvested some uh, bamboo shoots, so that's why we've got the bamboo shoot as an entry in our Encyclopedia Tropica. And if we expand this, we can see what we can craft with bamboo. And that's quite a lot of things, so it's very useful to harvest bamboo. Now we crafted a bamboo mark too, but then you can see there's flowers and kind of like teasing little icons that show you what you're gonna wanna look for to find these entries. And it's really worth it because you get a funny description and you get to know what you can do with the item. So it's really useful to take this Encyclopedia Tropica with you. With the Encyclopedia in my offhand slot and the sword in my right hand, we are good to go and explore this tropical dimension. Now, of course, I'm not going to show you everything that you can find, because if I did so, then there would be no point in checking this mod out yourself. So I'm just going to go over everything that you can find real quick, and not even everything that you can find, because there's got to be those little things that also I had to figure were actually in the game, because no one had told me, and because they're really hard to find, but also a lot of fun to run into. So, this tropical dimension just has a ton of different biomes. As you can see here, um, these are kind of like vanilla Minecraft planes, but they're kind of more summer-like, and they've got a lot of really pretty flowers, which color up the, um, the vegetation real nicely. And then there's kind of beach-like areas. There's much larger beach areas, like over there, where you can see there's only just sand and water where you can actually just throw down your beach chair, chill out with your pina colada, and um, yeah, just, just enjoy life, right? And then there's the rainforest, which is by far one of my favorite biomes just because it looks so incredibly gigantic and, and impressive. This is just in freaking sane. I mean, look at these things. I've even tried um, building huts on here and it actually works. You can actually just, uh, if you have like an emergency case where there's a lot of hostile mobs chasing you because I can tell you, um, there's quite some hostile mobs in here. There's one of them. That's a poisonous frog. They actually attack you. They may look very, very friendly. They're not. It's actually useful to kill them though, but um, you'll find out about that yourself. But you can actually just climb a tree in an emergency case and um, just put down a bed in one of these these little kind of like hanging bases because they're pretty much just hanging bases that you can put a lot of stuff in. And well, then there's these huge mahogany trees. I don't know if I pronounced it correctly, but um, that's what they are. And they are both trees, so they're both vegetation and very useful because you can use mahogany uh, logs and wood to craft a lot of useful things, but they're also a bit of a dungeon. And in here are some creatures that are gonna make you have a really hard time climbing up this tree. Really, seriously. But once you reach the top, you get this chest where there can be a ton of different loot, even, yeah, even new discs even new music discs it's pretty insane but this mod even has custom music look at that we got two of them and actually this one is really good this one i also like but this one is really really good and it's been in here for like as long as the mod existed so once i play that 
on my jukebox in Minecraft and I sit down with a pina colada near the beach. It's just memory lane. It's just a trip down memory lane. This mod, look at this. This is just this beautiful. Look at this. Let's just breathe this in. This is pure beauty. So here we are. This is kind of like a beach area where I really like to just chill out under my umbrella and um, look at that. I actually got myself a coffee because you can brew yourself drinks in this mod. It's really cool. You just got to harvest some stuff and uh, you'll be able to use the stuff to craft yourself drinks. But we're not going to go over the mixer because that is a separate item within this mod. It's really cool, but you just got to figure out that for yourself because it's really fun to mess around with that. So I also want to show you something of the mobs that this mod adds to Minecraft. <laughs> Look at that cute little monkey! That is pretty insane that we've just got tiny little monkeys in here! Oh, wow. And uh, look, there's another one. But then, I see something ahead of us. Oh, that's the encyclopedia. I see something ahead of us, and it's an Easter head. It's one of those Easter Island heads. It's really one of them. And I am very lucky that I am in creative mode, because in survival mode, once you get near them, they'll actually wake up and they'll go chase you. And I can tell you, they do as much damage as about the Ender Dragon. Well, maybe not, but they are like instant killers. They just need like two or three hits and you're you're just dead. So be careful with these guys, all right? Just be careful with them, promise me that. There's another kind of mobs. It's iguanas, look at these cute little green fellas. These small, little, tiny iguanas. They're pretty cool and you can kill them to get their skills and um, they will get quite angry because when you have them like this, when they're in a group near each other, attacking one will result in all of them attacking you. And not that they do so much damage, but you know, having 10 of these things attack you at the same time, it will very likely kill you. So I think by now you know that the vegetation within this mod, within this dimension is very, very rich. You know that. But we've only taken a look at the vegetation on land. Believe it or not, the sea is at least as detailed. And there's at least as much wildlife underwater. Let's dive straight in. And there's starfish and all these kind of things. And there's coral and just underwater plants. And then, whoa, 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 what's that? Yup, yup, it's uh two hammerhead sharks just um passing by i'm not gonna do anything i'm not going to do anything so here we have some groups of just small tropical fish and there's some merlins i guess some swordfish wow and different tropical fish and even more tropical fish Hey, little Nemos! There's even little Nemo fish! Or, you know, clownfish. And look at that. There's even rays. Look at that. And look at what we have here! Yes! It's actually dolphins! There's dolphins in here! This mod has dolphins. Look at that. And some more tropical fish, I guess. Oh, that looks like sardines. Or sardines. I don't know. <gasps> Did you hear that? Look at how friendly they are. It's beautiful. So I hope I got you excited for this mod. You can already play it. You can already download it. I will, of course, put download links down in the description. You can play this mod for up to Minecraft version 1.10.2, but they're working on a update for Minecraft version 1.12.2 as we speak. So maybe if you watch this video a little later than it actually got uploaded, you may already be able to play this mod in the latest version currently available for Minecraft. 
So if you actually liked this mod showcase, then be sure to hit that thumbs up so I can see that you actually enjoyed this video and that you want me to make more of these kind of videos. Let me know in the comments what you think of this video, what you think of my channel, what I should improve in my videos and what I do uh, well. And if there's nothing, then just tell me what to improve, obviously. But without further ado, I will catch you in the next one. See ya.